Welcome back, everybody. Take a break with Steven Seamus. Good to see you, my friend. How's it going today? Wonderful. My mustache is in like rare form today. It's like perfect. I have no product in it. My beard looks good. I'm ready. Obi-Wan is good. I haven't seen today's episode, so I know no one spoiled it for me. Here's the two things. I usually watch it in the morning because people will spoil it, but no one's talked about it, so I'm very excited. I don't even want to say anything. <laughs> I'm not even going to say uh, anything. Well, will I will I have a new friend? As, I'm my... not going to say, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Today's okay, episode is going to blow you away. Okay, great. Fantastic. Blow you away. I'm excited. Best we only episode. have one more left, so we, we have to episode. give me something. All right, good. Best episode, and it's infinitely better than all the other episodes. Do wanna, Should I pause and then go for an hour and then come back? Nah, nah. <laughs> All right, what do we got today, Alex? Uh, we're doing a full video game episode. This is this yes. is, I mean, this is stuff that we've touched on a little bit in the past with a little bit of like old Nintendo Valiant stuff. We talked a little bit about a couple of these, but very a very small amount. But things are just blowing up. They're going, they're out of control, and and you know, there's there's reasons for it. So we're going to talk a little Last of Us. We're going to talk Horizon Zero Dawn. We're going to talk God of War. And then for the old people like us, we're going to talk Sonic the Hedgehog. And, and I believe all of these, Alex, have some sort of TV or film tie-in, right? Every, everything is moving in out of video games and into something else. Correct. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right. What do we got first, Alex? Yeah, let's talk about Last of Us. Uh, that's going to be an HBO something or other with Pedro Pascal, right? Yep. Who is who's a just home run hitter in every facet. I actually liked his Game of Thrones stuff the best. He had the most. Oh, okay. he was he was the best. Violent. Yeah. He had the worst, most violent of all the violence and deaths on Game of Thrones. I actually think his death was the worst one of all. And and that's why some of the episodes have really good writing because they gave him the best lines. He was the best character, and they're like, uh, we're gonna so kill him good. off. Like that's the shot. He had, his, like he had his head. Uh, spoiler alert! Now Melons. years years later. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. splattered his head like a watermelon. <laughs> yeah, bananas. Absolutely right. crazy. So, talk to us about The Last of Us, Alex. And this book is going crazy. Go ahead. Yeah, this is a. It's a video game that came out for the PlayStation. Um, it's the same company that did the Uncharted uh, video games, which is huge, huge. Uh, they just had a movie with Tom Holland. He plays other things, I guess, other than Spider Man. Um, but it's about a a a man who's charged with taking. Uh, a girl across the country but it's like wastelands it's like zombie apocalypse type stuff um mm. and it's them getting across in the video game it's just you trying to get them across across um it's been remade three different times like remastered playstation 4 5 is getting another remaster the tv show it, you know with Pedro pascal i mean it's just one of those like hugely popular games and it's easy for it's like an everybody game it's a role-playing game you can you can everybody can play it well, it's nine years old already. Yeah. Hard to believe. Uh, Last of Us American Dreams number one came out in April of 2013. It's a long time. I, I, I actually don't remember that book coming out. But uh, uh, Faith Aaron. Yeah, very small print run. Very small. Yeah, Faith Aaron Hicks is the writer. Neil Druckmann, uh, also writer, artist. Uh, Faith Aaron Hicks. Uh, Christina Strain with a Julian uh, Totano uh, Tedesco cover. I love Julian great, Tedesco. Great covers. I actually own a few pieces of his art, I believe. Uh, so that book, there are 53 9.8s, there are 58 9.6s, $1,800 now Ooh. in 9.8, 600 bucks in 9.6, and $125 raw. That's crazy. That's bananas. That's that's. I think you can crazy. find these books at shows. I, I don't know that dealers have gotten into these, this yet. These, these were like, these are video game books. So there, there's a low print run, and I think people snatched them up. I don't think there's any floaters. I know. PS3 variant cover, uh, 25 9.8s, 25 9.6s. Can't find any of those. I would assume they'd be in the same $1,500 to $2,000 yeah. range. Those are $75 to $100 raw. Might be worth grabbing uh, and pressing. Yeah. Uh, the second prints are $65 to $80 raw. There's no pop. And then the third prints are $35 raw. No pop. So um, Last of Us, get it before it gets on HBO with Pedro because these yeah. books are flying. They'll go higher. Yep. 
Absolutely flying. Okay, what's the next video game property, Alex? Horizon Zero Dawn. It's really okay, hard so for me to not yeah. say Horizon Dawn Zero. I don't know why, but, but okay. crazy. So what's this video game about? What's the story? So about? this video game is about like again another post-apocalyptic world where like machines have taken over and you know the humans right. are kind of back to like bows and arrows and spears and kind of gone backwards uh, as as like the machines have taken over. Um, again, another game that is just like it came out and it was huge. This was you know these when these video games hit and they become popular, you're talking about billions of dollars, way more than movies. The the you know each video game is fifty bucks. You know, if they sell a million units, you could do the math. It's, it's a huge industry. And this is one of the huge hits. Yeah. So there are like 20 some 27 different versions of this yeah. book where some of them are very, very hard to find. If you manage yeah. to pick them up, we're just going to kind of skim through them a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so the main one is you've got Horizon Zero Dawn number zero free comic book day 2020 exclusive uh, from May of 2020. Not very expensive. There's only five 9.8s. It's a five to ten dollar book. Uh, there's a Forbidden Planet edition uh, with two nine point eights. That's a five to ten dollar book. Now you start to get into the expensive ones. Then there's uh, Horizon Zero Dawn number one from September of 2020. Uh, there are 16 nine point eights. It's an Ann Tool story with Ann Molina art. Uh, four to six dollars raw. It's got an art germ cover. We all love art germ. Uh, then there's the game art wrap cover variant. It's cover B, as in boy, uh, five, 9.8. It's a five to $7 raw book. Uh, the Loish variant cover C, there's only two 9.8s, five to $10 raw. See, these books, you got to try to get them in 9.8 because if you put these up for sale, yeah. you're going to get a couple of hundred, five to $10, and you're going to get a couple of hundred bucks. Well, the 9.8 right? pops are very low. This is a year old. Right. I mean, just about, yeah. maybe not less. We were like seven months. A little less than out. two years. Yeah, yeah, a little less than two years. Yeah. So, um, uh, Ann Molina variant cover D, one 9.8, 5 to $10. I mean, these are all low pop books. The Jeez. Peach Fomoco variant cover E has 83 9.8s. That's about a $60 <laughs> book. Uh, the Art Germ Blue Line variant cover F is 4 to $6 raw, 10 9.8s. Uh, the Loish 1 in 10 Virgin variant cover G, 21 9.8s. It's 8 to $12 raw. Uh, the Art Germ 1 in 25 Alloy Ink Virgin variant cover H. I know there's a lot here, but basically any of these books that you can find, I'll yeah, just get do it. Six, yeah, 16 9.8s is about a $75 book. The one in 50 silver ink variant cover, 22 9.8s is about a $75 book. But the art germ one in 100 gold virgin sketch cover <laughs> variant J, there's 15 9.8s, and that's about a $400 book. Wow, that's a big one. So that's it for the, for the base versions. Yeah. Then we'll go through this very, very quickly. There's a comic mint edition, mm -hmm. six 9.8s. Forbidden Planet edition, A, B, C, and D, between two and three 9.8s. There's the Peach Momoko Frankie's comic edition, A, Jeez. B, and C, all four, five, and six copies, regular, virgin, and black and white virgin. Then there's the Art Germ Jetpack Forbidden Planet, A, B, and C. Very, very low pops, can't find any of them. Then there's the multi-pack edition from Peach, one through four. There's 15 9.8s, Alex. They sell for $50 a set. What is that multi-pack? So uh, Titan reprinted essentially all the Peach and Moco covers for the different issues, one through four. She did, they, she did a cover for them, and they packaged them with an extra variant cover inside. So if you bought the multi-pack, you got an extra cover, and it's a virgin cover, another Peach and Moco new cover got as it. well. Got it. So you can't find those. That's no. probably very, very expensive. Right. Yeah. Uh, the New York Comic Con edition came in a set of three. The San Diego Comic Con edition came in a set of three. They sell for about 50 bucks raw. Uh, the Unknown Comics Virgin edition, uh, 15 to $20 raw. And then the second print, which you can't get, which is a close-up of the, the female character, yeah. uh, 6 to $10 raw. So there's a lot of hard-to-find books here. Basically, if you could find any of these Hero Zero, Hero Zero, Horizon yeah, Zero Dawn, Number one books, I would I would buy them. Yeah. Agreed. All right, cool. Alex's pick of the week. What do we got, Alex? We're talking about video games, so I had to go. I had to I had to go and do some research. And we all know video games are extremely hot. Vintage video games sealed. 
upgraded their hot but i was like oh, oh you know God, they're crazy they're crazy and you know if you look at like nintendo games and sonic and, and sega games nintendo everything was in a box like a, like a cardboard box but sega's all, all sega, sega genesis games were in a hard plastic shell you get them in, it was a clamshell so it's like oh they must be easy to come by you know because they weren't destroyed they weren't squished or whatever and i started looking them up and these are crazy like if you want a sonic the hedgehog regular came with the genesis so it's very easy to find those it's almost easy to find the retail versions that you could buy in the store sealed those aren't expensive but you look at like sonic the hedgehog 3 one just sold this is just a sealed not graded 1300 dollars. a number wow. two sold for a thousand dollars and these are sealed and, and of course again the boxes are plastic so they're not going to get destroyed so they're all usually pretty if they're sealed they're usually pretty mint so right, it's right, just right. crazy like to think how many times I've had those boxes or just even going to like a yard sale and that the Sonic game boxes are just there. And now that $1,300 for a sealed number three, which is- I'm going to tell you a funny story now that you brought it up. So I saw Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor down at uh, Awesome Kai. So Jimmy says to me, remember years ago at Wizard Magazine when you do the scavenger hunts? I said, yeah. He goes, remember you used to do the video game ones? I'm like, yeah. He's like, what'd you do with all that stuff? I'm like, they're in a landfill somewhere. He's like, you know what those are worth today? I know. I'm like, I'm like, you have no idea how much stuff we threw away. I'm like, we threw away Young Avengers sketch covers. We oh, threw away, God. we threw away uh, Exo Man of War Golds. We threw away, I mean. Why didn't, why isn't there one brother in your family that was just a hoarder? If, if, you, if you had one extra brother that was just the hoarder of the family, you guys are in. It was a warehouse. Safe. I know. Warehouse There's so much. Full of stuff. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, Jimmy, I'm like, we threw them all away. They're in a landfill somewhere. Oh. Do you know what those video games would be worth today? Go, start all going right. to Staten Island. You probably fish through all the New York. Uh, I don't think all so. New York yeah. trash. From, from, from 25 years ago in yeah. Congress? I don't think so. <laughs> all right. What do we got next, Alex? Uh, let's talk about God of War. Another video game. Okay. Huge. What's this video game? So this is there's been a lot of God of Wars. The other the other games we've talked about, there, there's been a couple of sequels, but nothing as much. The God of Wars have run like I think like six to eight. The game and they've been going on forever. Um, the last one was a little bit of departure from the originals. The originals is essentially it, it's a it's a it's a mythological game where he fights um, you know Greek gods and stuff like that. And then the last one, which is probably the most popular one one that probably made the most money um it was a a man and his the lead character has a son and they're going to dump their the his mother's ashes in a uh, in, in like a a mountain high and then they have they go on adventures and stuff like that and um it just again extremely popular series like this is this is a big huge industry um I think they're talking about doing some kind of movie adaptation, something or TV show. I don't know if it's hundred percent, but everything else is. Why not? Yeah, we read it. We read about it. Hold on one second. God of War TV show. I mean, it's 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 a it's a PlayStation. Amazon game. Prime. There Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah, they're buying everything. So Amazon Prime, Alex. That's why it's going crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. In May May twenty sixth, they announced Amazon Prime show. Okay, here we go. Okay, so God of War number one, the original series came out from DC Wildstorm, yep. May of 2010. There are 86, 9.8. It's about a $400 book, and it's about $150 to 9.6, uh, based on the video game by Sony, black and white. Uh, the, there's a black and white variant cover by Andy Park, who I love. Yes. Um, uh, Marv Wolfman story, Andrea Sorrentino art with an Andy Park cover. Uh, and then the second print, black and white Andy Park cover. Yeah. Uh, 25, 9.8, 1, 9.9. That's about Whoa. a $250 book. That's interesting that Andy was working on God of War for DC Wildstorm at that time. Hey, money's money. 12 now. years ago. Money's I thought money. he was at Marvel by then, but maybe it may be my timeline. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, God of War number one, Dark Horse, November of 2018. Uh, four, 9.8. That's about a $5 raw book, Alex. Very, very cheap. Not bad. Yeah. Um, I'd be looking at these. It's going to be on Amazon Prime next year, based on the video game by Sony as well. Chris Roberson story, Tony Parker art, EM just cover. I love EM just work. Great. He always does a great job. Fantastic. So, um, all right. What are we closing with today, Alex? Sonic the Hedgehog. 
the best. Yeah, you know all the original. Of, you know all about this. You know all about this. So go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, this is definitely my alley. This is, I mean, obviously Sonic the Hedgehog. Right up your alley. Sonic the Hedgehog has been a a a in the media thing since the original video game. Original video game launched with the Sega Genesis, like Mario did with Nintendo. But unlike Mario, say, uh, Sonic has had a cartoon series that lasted forever. There's always a new cartoon series. He just had the second movie. Mario Brothers had one movie, which I love, but a lot of people didn't like it. Um, Ugly Sonic uh, was in the Chippendales movie, which is also very funny. Um, but I think when you look at Sonic the Hedgehog versus like a Mario um there's just more to digest with Sonic. There's way more comics. There's way more cartoons. There's two movies. There's just so much out there. So keeping that character and that IP alive, I think is helping it. Although Sega is now not in the console business anymore. They only release video games. Right, right. Okay. Um, all right. So Sonic the Hedgehog uh, promotional supplement was the first one that came out in 1991 from Sega. There are 389 9.8s. There are four 9.9s. That's about a $775 wow. book. That's a big was, pop, too. Yeah, big pop. For big promotional number. books. Yeah, distributed as a Sega promotional art and insert on DC Comics from December 91. The promos and the inserts are indistinguishable from DC. Uh, Francis Mouse story cover and art. There is a newsprint version of that. Uh, that's about $200, but the CDC doesn't break out the pop there. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog number one quarter yeah one fourth, one fourth. Uh, from archie in 1992 i don't understand that one maybe you know i don't know why they called it one quarter um 27 9.8 two 9.9s that's about a 300 dollars book it's a four-page newsprint sega promotional michael gallagher story scott shaw cover and art there's a second print there's only nine 9.8s i couldn't find any of them anywhere i couldn't find a cgc i couldn't find anything so again second prints rule the day there uh, yeah. Then there's a Sonic the Hedgehog number zero from Archie in February of 93, about a year later, 49, 9.8. That's about $250. Again, Michael Gallagher story, Scott Shaw, Jorge Pacheco, and Bill White art with a Scott Shaw cover. Then there's the Sonic the Hedgehog number one limited series from Archie in March of 93, came out a month later, 24, 9.8. Very, very, very rare. Can't find it. There's a Canadian version. Uh, same creative Good team luck. as the number zero. And then uh, Sonic the Hedgehog number one, the regular series came out of four months later from Archie in July of 93. There's 88, 9.8. And that's a three to $600 book that price is, price is fluctuating all over the place. So there are some very rare Sonic books that have really escalated lately, Alex. And they're, they're, the whole run, the whole Archie run, even like in the last few issues, like they're all hard to find. You're not going to find anything in a near mint for less than $10. And, and that's a 200 run series. It ran a yeah, long get, time. Yeah, second movie's coming out. So, yep. all right, cool. All right, that does it for today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave it in the field below. We appreciate you joining us, and we will see everybody next week. Same bad time. Same bad channel.